Indian history is enriched with its own art form and cultures passed through generations. Each of these art forms are special and distinct in their own ways. These art forms are creatively improvised by their artists and have evolved with time. Namaste. I am Shri Sasta, a 14-year-old boy from India, learning about art forms around the world and its impact on the readers and the artists. This art book Mayura aims to increase visibility to few of the traditional art forms of India. Mayura is a word of Sanskrit origin, which means peacock. Peacock is considered as a sacred bird in Indian mythology. I drew 13 versions of peacock in different Indian art forms, namely Madhubani, Kalamkari and Gold. The title page consists of an Indianized peacock with the title Mayura in both Sanskrit and English. Forward by the title page, there is an index page consisting of name of the art form and the place of origin. Next, I have given a small introduction about myself and the completed version of the image in the title page. The first painting in this book is Madhuban. Madhubani painting is an old painting originating from Bihar in 7th century BC. It has received a geographical index status. This painting expresses the creativity and sensitivity of its people towards nature. It is traditionally painted on mud walls using plant colors and eye-catching geometric patterns. The second art form is Kalamkari, an art originating from Andhra Pradesh in 3000 BC. The name Kalamkari is derived from the words Kalam meaning pen and Kari meaning craftsmanship in Telugu language. It involves a 23 step process to create a Kalamkari artwork. The third art form is miniature painting, an art originating from Rajasthan with a lot of Mughal influence. This artwork is from 750 AD. This small scale folk art documents key events in a detailed manner. It is painted on natural materials such as palm leaves, marble and ivory panels. The fourth art form is Sohrai Kovar painting. This is an art form from Jharkhand and this is the first GA drag of that state. This art form is practiced by a tribe. The Sohrai Kovar painting is a ritualistic art form mostly depicting animals. The word Sohrai mean marriage chambers and the word cover means harvest painting. The fifth art form is Tanjore painting originating from Tamil Nadu. This painting is fairly recent originating in the 17th century. This painting is easily identifiable using the gold and silver plates and the precious gems. Rich and bright colors are used with simple composition to depict mythical figures. The sixth art form is gold, a famous art form from Madhya Pradesh. This tribal art is created with simple lines and dots to represent the human association with animals. It originated 1600 years ago. Vibrant colors are used in Gond paint. The word Gond means green mountains, the dwelling places of the Gond tribes. The seventh art form is Patachitra an art form from Odisha, originating in 500 century BC. It is practiced in Raghuraspura, a small village in Odisha, where over 150 families practice this art. Patachitra is a scroll-based painting created on palm leaves and handmade cloth. A metal pencil is used to draw on palm leaves. The eighth art form is Kerala Mural. It originated in 8th century AC from Kerala. It is usually used to tell stories. A fresco style traditional art form 
painted mostly on wet surfaces. It is painted on roofs and walls. The next painting is Manjusha painting. Originating from Bihar, this painting is from 2000 BC. This traditional art form mainly uses pink, green and yellow colors used to narrate or document a tale. Borders and simple lines are some of the key characteristics of this painting. The tent art form is of an Indian map with Indian patterns inside it. I drew this art form because I felt it is very necessary in a book which consists of all traditional Indian paintings. These patterns are usually used as borders for various art forms of India. The 11th art form is Bill Painting. This is a dot art form from 3000 BC. Bill tribes create this folk art with dots in a specific pattern that bring the paintings to life. It uses rich and unlifelike shapes to create everyday characters. The 12th art form is Pichwai painting, originating from Rajasthan in the 17th century. Pichwai art always focuses on the Hindu god Krishna, narrating his life stories through art. It is drawn on a piece of cloth and hung on temple walls. The 13th art form is Pat painting. It is a scroll art form from Rajasthan, originating in 1000 AC. It is a religious scroll painting drawn with the purpose of narrating stories. They are painted using traditional vegetable colors and run up to 15 meters long. The 14th painting is Borni, a famous painting from Maharashtra, usually consisting of white lines in a brown background. It is practiced by the Borni tribe. This tribal art form is created using a set of simple geometric shapes such as squares, triangles and circles. This is usually drawn on the walls of tribal homes in a brown colored background using white paint. I have concluded this book by writing descriptions of each of these art forms. I want to spread and create awareness about Indian art. Will you do so? I started off by researching about various different Indian art forms. I found out some art forms, but few were really difficult to find because they were almost extinct. So, this book Mayura aims to get rid of that extinction of those art forms and bring them back to I sincerely thank my mother for helping me out to find a different art form for me to draw. I sincerely thank my father for helping me perfect my art form. I also thank my brother for supporting me throughout this process. I also want to give some of my artworks to a museum for the young generations like me to appreciate it and learn about their culture. Thank you.